Hello everyone, thought I'd make a really quick video. Uh, I think today's the day I'm gonna replace this faucet. The reason why I'm replacing this is because it's battery powered and I've already had one die on me. And if it died on me while I was camping, it'd be inconvenient to get water out. So what I've done is I've I already had this flow jet. Basically it's an RV pump, water pump. And uh, I got that and I went to the store and I bought this faucet for $25 and I bought a water line and here's what the faucet looks like. Um, I like this one because you can vary the speed and it's kind of like a drinking faucet that goes on a normal sink uh, like in your kitchen and here's the water line I bought with it and then this is just plugged right into the pump and then on the other side of the pump I'm just going to take this BPA uh, approved water hose for drinking, hook it up to the other side like that, and then just stick this in, in a five gallon water container. And that's how I'm gonna get my water pumped up to the sink. We also got this SureFlow accumulator that we're gonna install. There's the model number. This will help the pump out from uh, starting and stopping all the time. I do have some plans this spring to enhance this, um, to add water in and water out outlets um, underneath or on the side of the RV uh, cargo trailer. Um, and that way I can pump water out for a hot water shower. So that's coming this spring, but for now we're just gonna install this sink and this pump and uh, see where we where we go so i'm using a half inch drill bit the biggest one i have hopefully it works let's see what this will look like there i think that's going to be fine right there let's drill I think that'll work. Now we take the rubber washer and then this metal one come up from underneath. Tighten it down with that. All right, I got the water line installed to the faucet. Now I just got to mount the pump and hook up the water lines. I use these Anderson power pole connectors. They work great for a ham radio and, and uh, any mobile applications for DC. All right, so I put in the accumulator for the 12 volt pump and now I have to air it up. Um, you wanna air it up to what your cut on pressure is on your 12 volt pump. So I think mine's gonna be uh, 18 PSI, but I'm not sure. So we're gonna try it. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up to 18 and see how it works. It's got a little fill valve on the top. So we're just going to go ahead and put 18 PSI in it and see, see what it does. That's about 20, 22 PSI. You know what? I'm gonna see what that does. There you have it, that's what it looks like. Let me show you a close up of everything. 
So that's the flow jet pump and the accumulator. And then it goes right up to the faucet. Got the water tank hooked up. Use my reach while I uh, plug in the pump. All right, let's see what this does. Yeah, this does really well now. I'll turn this on now if you just want to run it low. No sputtering. Nice, even flow. That is beautiful. That's really nice. That makes me happy. There you have it. Flow jet pump. Ah, it's windy. Flow jet pump and accumulator install and a uh, new faucet. I think it's going to work out really well. Thanks for tuning in and watching. Until next time.